Hey folks, this is Kalani. I'm going to be showing you the quickest way to get your hands on a handful of Bobble Bubbles. Now, if you don't know what these are used for, there is a vendor outside the Super Adventure Box which has all sorts of goodies. The main ones would be the skins. Now, they do cost 50 Bobble Bubbles, which is a considerable amount, but it's not unobtainable. So, I've been farming this repeatedly for a while, um, and I'll be taking you along on one of my little farming routes. The way that we're going to get the bobble bubbles is from the boss chests. So that is the two cage bosses at the end of zone 1 and zone 2, and the frog boss at the end of zone 3. They all drop a glorious chest, which will give you two bobble bubbles guaranteed. Now the nice thing about this is that it resets daily. So while you cannot farm it constantly on the same character, you can farm it on different characters. So with my eight characters, I could farm six bobble bubbles a day, which are account bound. So I could add them all together on one character, so I'd have a nice amount of 48 per day. Now, I'll I'll have another video looking at some of the vendor items because I find that very interesting. So keep your eye out for that. But basically, it's a game of rush. You want to rush to the bosses as quick, quickly as possible, and you want to down the bosses as quickly as possible. Sadly, this does mean pretty much skipping all the monsters, half the jumps, all the hidden areas, chests, things like that. It just slows you down. The nice thing about this is that all the chests have a chance to drop the rare version of the skins, which means you can either sell them, or you're kind of farming for your skins or farming for your skins. You know. Two birds with one stone. It's really nice. But anyway, these runs will take you approximately 15 minutes, depending on how many mistakes you make. Obviously, if you want to get this done as quickly as possible, you want to make no mistakes and know, e bleh, and know exactly where you're going. Things like that can slow you down, which is annoying. Usually you're able to run past that monkey, which makes me sad. But never mind. So that's, that's a few seconds added to the clock. But anyway, I'm going to stop yapping because this is going to be about 15 minutes. So I'll speed it up to about three times just so you can see exactly where I go. So you can see this is the chest, the chest within a chest, where you're getting your bubbles from. Um, this is the fastest way I've found to get the bubbles. It's kind of annoying because you could happily farm the bubbles themselves, but it's 250 to then trade to a bubble, which is crazy. I mean, if you think every time you loot this chest you're effectively looting 500 bubbles. Either way, this is the, the fastest way to do it that I've found.
And there we have it, the third chest will spawn in just a moment, and you can do that every day with as many characters as you want. Six baubles. You can go ahead into the next zone if you wish. I personally don't think it's worth it. The chest there is the chest which comes down here at the bottom right. So I don't know if it contains skins. I haven't heard anywhere at all that anyone has got a skin from that chest. Um, and personally that's what makes it most worthwhile is the potential to get the skins as well as you farm in your baubles. Note that when you get to the poison stages, it's okay if you die. Mainly because, well, as long as you're near a checkpoint. If you die just before a checkpoint, that's obviously not ideal. But if you die, that means that you can then run through poison for longer, which is always going to be a shorter route than if you have to take stupid detours just to keep yourself alive. That's how you can farm your baubles nice and fast. Thanks for watching, folks. Good luck and have fun. And as always, I'll see you next time.